for third. Oh. He's gonna get it. Not the kill, and Vastek's gonna find it. Oh, he finds that drive. He finds two. Hey. He's still alive. Can he go in? Oh, oh my goodness. God. He's gonna go barge down and give Saints the lead again. everybody and welcome to St. Clair Saints Call of Duty. My name is Jackson the Pride Brown joined alongside Dan, Mr. Danner's banner here for the first time in a while actually that we were oh, yeah. actually <laughs> on the mic together. So it's uh, nice to see here once again today we will be having NG NJCAAE playoffs here and it's going to be a nice one. We're in semifinals looking to make a grand finals appearance. We got a big game here. How are you feeling about this one, Dan? Definitely feeling confident. I mean, we've seen this, uh, this Call of Duty team just constantly like shred through everything for the most part in their path regardless of the leagues only of course falling in like the nace grand finals of all things i wonder if it's finals so with right now like even knowing our opponent right now with a uh, go and the fact that they're currently 11 and 0 in this league I still feel like this is going to be a St. Clair 3-0, but I'd love to be proven wrong. Yeah, 100%. I feel like one really, really big thing to highlight here in this matchup is St. Clair's follow some maps, though. Where GCC, not so much. On the other hand, they have dropped a couple maps here. Right. They dropped. They haven't dropped a series, but they've dropped a few maps, and I think that's actually one thing that we got to dig deep into a little bit here. Um, you know, GCC, yes, they might have had a flawless run here, but they've been pushed a little bit more than St. Clair has in their series. So I think that does provide me a little bit more confidence in St. Clair over out this, throughout this one tonight night but we do actually have a little bit of a change in uh, the St. Clair starting lineup for this one here rather than you know majority of interesting yeah for sure rather than majority of the nace and whatnot playoffs and whatever we'd have done instead of it being sauce Priestley, gorilla and brandon or lasted then tonight we instead of having sauce we will have corius in here tonight mm -hmm. corius another standout player he's gonna be in here he scrims with the team all the time and whatnot Absolutely. they are gonna be a-okay with corius locked in and i'm still gonna go with the St. Clair 3 in the series i mean the kid always has the itch to just like show up on game game day and shine i definitely know that he'll be ready to just essentially pick up to where he left off from like a year ago back in uh the other call of duty when we had the seasons there so ready to rock still should still just be like picking up exactly where sauce would have left off and we like we know that Corey is gonna pop off and it's just gonna be it's just as strong of a sync river roster Oh, 100% here. So we actually do have the roster from GCC as well mm -hmm. that I believe we can check out here in just a moment. So we'll see if we can get that one up on screen. And yes, here it is. So we got Dezify, and that is going to be Keegan Bolin there starting us off. And then we have Damp Ketchup, Aiden McLeod, and then Smoke Show, which is Seth Osterman, Dr. Uper, Lane Cordemier, and then Gremlins, Tyler Cleary, uh, Subsonic Dre, which is Andrew, uh, Andre Johnson, and then Love Seat, which is Selena Dix. And, you know, I mean, obviously we don't know what for. We're going to see actually starting here. I feel like mm. one of these is probably a coach, two subs or something like that for these players. We don't know which ones we are going to see, but thank you to um, the guys over at GCC for sending this over. It's really helpful to actually have a roster sheet for uh, the other team starting us off. Yeah, it's absolutely, absolutely incredible. Like the uh, the squad over at uh, GCC, when they realized that we were streaming, it's like, hey, um, do you want any information for us? Yeah, here's a roster. And like, they're extremely eager and whatnot, ready to go. And I know they're trying to work on their own broadcast as well. And a little bit of an upstart there. So it's good to see some more, um, some more institutions being cooperative with broadcasting as well as trying to start one up themselves, which is absolutely fantastic. Yes, 100%. So I do believe we actually also have maps ready for us we here do tonight. Actually, so yeah. let's get a peek at those maps here for this one. And I'm very excited because I honestly, I feel like maps has been something that St. Clair has been a little bit back and forth on here lately. So starting us off is a raid hard point. Uh, I'm feeling pretty confident in that the raid um, it hard point and control. So the raid response have been fairly well throughout this season and NJ and also in NACE and whatnot other leagues. So Hardpoint raid, I'm looking pretty solid there. I think that we will have this out of GCC, though, maybe testing them a little bit. Now, the Moscow Search and Destroy. This is one that I'm very concerned for GCC for. Because you know what? Saints took a Moscow Search and Destroy on ICC and NACE mm -hmm. Grand Finals just on last past weekend. And, I mean, if you're taking one on ICC, an SD starred team, a team that just won NACE uh, essentially on Cold War for the last season, uh, is definitely going to be a good news here for St. Clair going into this Moscow Search and Destroy. Finally, a Gary Control uh, for map number three. It's been a while. And it has been a while. You know, we're usually seeing that raid, so I think it is good for the side of... Um, a GCC to not allow uh, raid control or something like that to come mm. through. Now, if we do go map four, checkmate hard point, it's been something that they've been absolutely phenomenal on all season. So another good hard point there. It and then the game five though. Game five, standoff <laughs> SD. I'm scared for them. <laughs> yeah, I, I do not like St. Clair standoff <laughs> SD. I do not like it at all. 
But honestly, I think the first four look really good for the Saints, map-wise. Um, so I think as long as they don't go map five, they should be a-okay. If GCC is going to find the win on this series, I think they're going to have to find a map one being the hard point on raid, uh, raid hard point, sorry. And then the map three on Gary Control and the map five on Standoff Search and Destroy. I think map two for the S&D on Moscow and the map four for the Checkmate for hard point are going to be absolutely locked up for St. Clair. Yeah, which is interesting because we always were talking about basically the whole season long across both leagues was that like S and D was Saints' weak point. But yet it seems like an exception for Moscow. Yeah, the it's like one of the few exceptions. It's a it's a map that not a lot of teams let through for St. Clair. So I think for it being Moscow, I think it's more of um uh a map that you know, they're comfortable on, sorry, GCC's as well comfortable on, on Moscow. It's maybe they're like, okay, Miami, no, not going to see it. Because Sinclair's strong on Miami as well. Like, it's really hard to force Sinclair onto a bad search and destroy map. You're either going to see Moscow map 5 or map 2. It's just good for the Saints to see it in map 2 rather than map 5. Absolutely. And we can break it down all we want, but why don't we actually hear it right from the coaches mouth themselves? Got ourselves a very, very quick pre-game interview with Coach, Coach Dawson. Dawson. Um, what are your thoughts on your opponents tonight? Uh, they're 11-0. and 0. Uh... This is Borgbeck. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce it correctly, but uh, they should be a pretty decent team. Yeah, 11 and 0 record. I mean, uh, can't take that for granted. No matter how easy some of our initial matches have been, we've obviously seen that in Nace. Um, we had some tough opponents even in regular season. Even though we came out with a perfect, uh, perfect season there, even with uh, map, map count and actual like match count. Um, but yeah, no, we can't really underestimate anyone at this point. Uh, is there any uh, maps that you were trying to avoid today? Uh, none that I know of. None that I can think of off the top of my head. I think all of our players are pretty well-rounded. We have uh, Nathan Corey SNP playing with us today. Um, he's pretty versed in majority of the maps. I'd say even like our weaker ones, he tends to play a lot better. Uh, is there any game modes you think GCC has um, an advantage in? Not that I know of. Uh, we haven't really watched any film or any VOD on them. It's kind of hard with uh, NJCAAE uh, to do anything like that. They don't really allow the opportunity for uh, students to regularly like stream their matches on their own if they want to. So if um, if like our broadcast uh, team, our broadcast team like Mr. Danders and them, uh, aren't broadcasting our match officially to our Twitch channel, uh, like none of our players are allowed to stream the matches, which is little weird obviously it's a ruling that i'm trying to get changed because obviously we would like to have our guys streaming all of our matches if possible and uh, how confident are you in your team going into tonight's game i'm always confident in my team i mean i've never lost faith in them once i mean no matter what like they always pop off somewhere uh someone's always doing something if someone's not holding their own and uh basically not playing up to par i know the other three can uh, make sure they put them on the backpack and uh, carry them to a victory are you going to be, maybe depending on which the series is going, are you going to sub in maybe for one game? Yo, I mean, hey, you never know. Like, we get, we win map one and two, might have to jump in there, you know, map three. Uh, get the coach in the game for once again. But no, I'm pretty confident in my team to finish it out. I don't think I need a coach. I uh, don't think I need to get in there. Coaches aren't allowed to play. <laughs> oh, uh, that's that's all right. But uh, thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. All right. You heard her first here from Dawson Lavelle, the coach of St. Clair. But we're hopping right into this game. And St. Clair is off to a great start. Already getting the hard point time ticking here on their way to 20 points. This hard point, first hard point, about halfway done. And St. Clair is looking beautiful on it. And they are set up for respawns. Going into that next hard point, they are looking absolutely absolutely phenomenally set up here and honestly i think this is something that we're going to see a lot here throughout this series is st Clair just getting ready for these respawns the rotations has been absolutely perfect here from them now it is going to be go I, I i'm not going to be very good at pronouncing this here again tonight so it is going to be go to big uh, or whatnot, but it is going to be a fairly close one. I mean, we do have them here now trying to even up this scoreline, but St. Clair still holding on to these uh, respawns here now, so let's see what they can do. All right, yeah, so next point right on deck. We're going to see Uber try to make his way in, but of course, Saint's in control as of this very moment anyway. Let's see. Gorilla in pretty decent position. That smokes some of things a little bit interesting for just a second, but of course, Gorilla going to clean things up here with Brandon, and so far, they're in control. 
Yes, for sure. So, I mean, the, the, the rotations were really, really big here from St. Clair to allow them to do what they're doing here right now. Corius is off to a phenomenal start here in this game. He is going to be 3 and 2, but he does have that half a minute on the hill. Gorilla going to be retaking that one from the smoke show. And this is going to be, once again, put in St. Clair's favor. There is going to be rotations getting ready to come out here in a few seconds, as we got about 20 seconds remaining on this current hard point. So, rotations are definitely going to be a thought between these two teams going forward. Stamp catch up, looking to find this one. But actually, yeah, we haven't even found the starting lineup here for them so we can talk about this one a little bit we got desify dr Uper, damn ketchup and smoke show as the four coming from gogovic here uh, i believe that's how you pronounce it I, i'm hoping so uh but st Clair really starting to gain a little bit of a lead here now by about 60 however we do have gogovic ready for the uh, them on the rotations yeah we do see right there desify already in position just has to kind of keep the spot locked down as best as possible does have some backup around the corner as well we do see smoke show maybe by poking and prodding a little bit here towards the saints but brandon priestley starting off the attack yeah, it is looking solid. Desify going to be the last man standing on the back line of this hard point. He is going to be making some advances, and it is going to be the one Corius shutting him down. Now the push onto the hill for St. Clair going to be regaining some possession and getting the scoreboard back ticking in their favor. So about to approach that 100 point marker. This is getting a little bit concerning early on in this one for Gogopic already here on this raid hard point. We're only about three hard points in, and it's already a pretty drastic lead getting made here. So Desify, he is applying some pressure, but Priestley going to quickly shut that down down on the approach. There's only so many angles you can hold by yourself there for Desify, and of course Priestley going to just absolutely abuse that there. 10 seconds left on this hard point, going to be crossing the map all the way into the left-hand side. This time by, we see Smoke Show already on pursuit to try and get there, but he is going to be on a crash course there with Gorilla. Gorilla going to take care from there. Korea's on the, the uh, rotation catch as well. But that being said, still some decent spots coming in here for this side of Gojibic, and they're going to be able to get the point for at least this moment as Smoke Show finds himself a double. Yeah, those are two big frags finding in the back line there. That will completely control the spawns for them. Smoke Show is just sitting back here, making sure that St. Clair doesn't push in through their behind side and uh, actually get these spawns. So Gorilla is going to be spotted out, and Smoke Show really looking to find that one. That's going to be a big engagement, but Gorilla, he's just going to kind of fall off it for a little bit and play at different angles. Smoke Show going to gather a ton of intel on that peak there, now knowing where this whole St. Clair push is coming from Jam Ketchup is going to be holding a really good angle on that heady and it's going to really punish Priestley. Priestley's been having a phenomenal game here so far. 13 and 5 and already over a minute of objective time and he wants to rack up that time even more as he'll couldn't clear up the hill. Yeah, KDA wise, Gorilla is right there alongside him as well. Currently 12 and 4 here in this game and it was pretty solid job there from the side of the Saints just able to get I believe it was Smoke Show out of position. He was trying to use the cover maybe a little bit too much and it was actually stopping him from getting any sort of engagements for himself and now that did allow Saints to get the initial hard point, but now we're going back to the middle. Fresh hard point, and we see Brandon already in position. Yeah, for sure. Corius and Gorilla already getting those early frags. That's fine. We'll get an answer back, though. And Gorilla's actually going to be on a bloodthirsty here right now. Five in a row for him. He's going to build up some momentum for himself. Brandon going to look to get an aggressive on that rush. Gorilla still doing very good at playing this AR on the back line and just doing work. Priestley going to find another one there for St. Clair and solidify this hill hold for them. Now doubling go with big score of 150 to 72. Corey eventually goes down there, but he stalled so much time that it just allowed Brandon to hop right back onto the point and just continue to start capturing some more points here. That being said, 155 to 72. Gojbeck compared to a lot of the other teams here in the NJCAA, like doubling and not, if not tripling what the Saints have given them in or given other teams in the past. I know the Saints had some pretty crazy blowouts during the regular season, but they're definitely holding their own here in this one. I think one of the worst ones we saw was like a 250 to 7 or something that like brutal, that. Yeah, yeah it, it, it was, we've seen some pretty bad ones here throughout the season, but Gogovic really putting in the effort here, and they're doing a good job. They're getting some frags back. They are getting hit hard point time. They are trying their absolute best oh, geez, here in Gorilla. this game. That's really nice to see. Gorilla just farming here right now. Bring up the tractors. He's got two more! Gorilla gonna find a few before Desify will return the favor. Finally, the grenade gonna flush him out of there, and it does actually slow down this hard point capture here for thing for at least a couple of seconds, taking a few extra points off the board here. And Desify, as well as the rest of the squad here from Gojibik, are actually making a push on in. They should be able to capture this for a few minutes. A few seconds. Yeah, for sure. Gorilla said he needed a hype man tonight, but I don't think so. He's popping off without one, or Dawson's behind him, really just screaming at him or something like that. But it is going to be Gorilla here, currently sitting at 19 and 8. He doesn't have as much hardpoint time, maybe as much as Priestley, but he's been holding so many of these spawns. Mm -hmm. You see him just playing these ideal positions, and this is where it's really nice to have Gorilla this season, uh, because he can pick Ooh. up Dawson's role that was being played last season. So I really do like having Gorilla as an addition to this team. He's also an absolute monster when it comes to search and destroy, and I think that's something that's really needed. 
Absolutely. Just a fantastic like positional player all around as we do see the entirety of Gojibek just getting swept through. Four players down to another hard point on position. 45 seconds left on this hard point. They could very well just clean it up as long as they get on point. Not quite. They are going to actually miss it ever so slightly. So we'll still have one more point here for Gojibek to try and get themselves back in the swing of things. But still, relatively dominating first game here for St. Clair. Brandon's just in such an OP spot. He also gets nade <laughs> yeah. damage there onto Damp Ketchup. And he's already reading exactly Exactly what Smoke Show is going to do. And there's another one for Brandon. Maybe make it a four. It's going to be briefly finding that kill. But Brandon going to be on a bloodthirsty nonetheless. And that's actually going to be Corius on one as well. 18 and 11 from him coming through on the starting lineup tonight. Very nice to see Gazify going to finally shut down Brandon on that spree. But Brandon still peppered him down to essentially one shot. And this hard point is pretty much nearly over. And St. Clair only going to need like one to two seconds. Corius already Bad has position. this next hard point locked down. And this is going to be game number one, folks. St. Clair going to close it out 250 to 76. Absolutely. Brutal coming out here from St. Clair. Granted, the coach pick, the Samsons, did put up a very, very strong fight. I mean, hitting 70 points better than what we saw a lot of the other teams in the NCAA so far here in the season. But unfortunately, yeah, this portion right here, Gorilla just went absolutely nuts. I believe he got like four kills essentially within like 15 seconds. It was absolutely yep. nasty. And just like we were talking about during the game itself, just positional play while he may not necessarily be the one on the hard point itself but he's always either the flanker or the flank watch always covering some sort of entrance and they've just not been able to get the jump on him yeah for sure the play was amazing there we saw several bloodthirsties come through from the saints and that is going to be the one nothing series score here over on the side of st Clair over gcc here we are going to be getting ready now to hop into the search destroy on moscow these were going to be one of the maps that i said for st Clair was going to be absolutely ideal here for them they were able to take this one on icc just last weekend here in grand finals of the nace playoffs so to see it here come through once again i'm thinking this is going to be very very nice here for the side of st Clair. Uh, i mean honestly they just got to hold their angles they got to make sure they push onto these desired sites and whatnot. But so far coming through from that raid hardpoint game, it looked phenomenal. They were on the ball. They were on the rotations. Corey is coming through in the starting lineup. Played amazing. Priestley and Gorilla are heating up. The vibes are immaculate in the nest here right now. And, uh, you know, the players just looking like they can't be stopped. They're now going into a map that they just took from the winner of <laughs> Nays Star League here. Uh, I think that they're going to be looking perfect here. Absolutely. St. Clair in a position to just essentially get themselves pretty much into match point pretty quickly unless GGC can or GCC rather can make the comeback and maybe we haven't necessarily of course seen their search and destroy you never know this this very well could be a strong point on this roster I'm looking forward to seeing what happens here but yeah with it being Moscow um even though like I was saying before it's one of the, the Saints like weaker game modes Moscow one of their better maps still for it so should be a relatively even match at least in my opinion but of course we'll have to see moving forward in just a couple of moments yeah for sure so next next game just gonna be getting ready here joining lobbies one i believe we have to switch hosts so it's not gonna be too too big of a problem but we are just gonna be one or so minutes away so honestly yeah the moscow search and destroy uh i mean the thing with search and destroy is despite me saying st Clair might be so favored on it, they might be so strong on this moscow search and destroy it is gonna be the side of gcc here that can come through and find a few of these round wins just you know timing wise lucky timing or whatnot because that is one really really big thing in search and destroy is that you could just straight up get in-game good timing and it works out for you that's one thing that's really big with search and destroy only needing six rounds to win as well with that i mean gcc still has a really really good chance here of making the uh <laughs> making the score line go in their favor and actually tying up this series 1-1 so we'll see what can happen anything really can happen but if st Clair wins this one that's gonna be match point for them already in this one forcing gcc to reverse sweep i don't really think gcc is in a position to be looking to stare that down yeah, really, excuse me, rough spot there for the side of GCC, but we're not going to be wasting any more time here. We're going to be hopping in to game number two. Looks like it's going to be the Saints on the attack to start things off. Here we go. Yes, for sure. So St. Clair going to be trying to get things going. Priestley going to be the one carrying the bomb here on the offense to start us off for St. Clair. Let's see how this one does get going. But Smoke Show and Gorilla, the first engagement. Gorilla, the S and D star from the Saints, opening us up nicely. Corey is following okay. up with two headshots of his own. He's going to be not to be stopped. Desify will answer back and trade out Gorilla. But is a 1v3 that Desify has to work with here now. He's going to get shot down from the back. And St. Clair very, very quickly going to win round number one there. Corey is popping off. You know, like, we even knew, like, both know Corey's personality very well. You know. 
know he's in there right now, just standing up and like just going he's nuts. Screaming right he's now. screaming. <laughs> he's just like, oh yeah. Like I mean, Corey is probably on cloud nine here so far in this game. Absolutely, that double headshot there just really just broke the wall right down there for Saints to just move over towards that A site. And as good as Desify is, there's not much you could really do on a 1v3. I mean, it is possible, but still so, so difficult. But let's see what they can do on the attacking side. Yeah, we'll see it here in just a moment now. So Gogobek actually going to be one of the few teams on their first offense to go B. You never see that, but Gorilla is going to call that out to his teammates. Shuts the first one down. Going to get tagged from a second, so he knows there's at least another one there. Going to run into damn catch-up. Going to find that one. He will finally get trade-off from Dr. Uber. But look at Brandon behind the whole team. Desify completely spotted out. Shut down for Brandon. Now the last player going to be stuck inside the room. Brandon looking for yet another Dr. Uber. Barely making it out with his life, but Brandon going to be from behind and shutting it down yet again. A quick little one from St. Clair. <laughs> the Moscow search and destroy is just something else here from them. Yeah, these are agents here for the Saints are just absolutely nasty. And we've seen, like, even though it seemed like Gorilla was just distracting the front line, meanwhile, Brandon here finding himself the double here in this second round, just absolutely flying through the map to get behind enemy lines and just absolutely lit the field up. Yes, for sure. So Saints going to be back on the offense here again. And honestly, that's pretty good for them because they can just put themselves back into the driver's seat of this one. And with them on the offense, they can control the tempo. And I think by the looks of it, we can kind of see where the, the, the tempo wanting to be for St. Clair. I mean, they are wanting to go fast, in, and hard. And it's looking like it's working pretty well for them so far. Smoke Show going to get peppered down and actually just forced out of his position. But he will be on a flank here now. And uh, St. Clair not really a huge amount of control as of yet towards A. So we'll see what happens. But... It's going to be okay, Dr. Uper opening us up for Gogobek. Yeah, it could be the door opening. And then as three just instantly just get deleted so quickly, it is all up to Smoke Show, whose position is a little bit unknown, though. Brandon has the right idea, but not going to quite find him, but does not find the elimination he was looking for. St. Clair, round number three. Uh, he only saw the one there. He was really not anticipating another guy to pop out from the bomb. So it really was working out there for him. So Dr. Uper, though, he was off to a good start. I mean, taking down Corius nice and early on the initial peak, going to be nice for him. He was taking down to about one HP and force him to fall off that gunfight. But St. Clair is still going to find the round regardless. Now looking at a 3 nothing stat line. Uh, it's not going to be an easy one here now for Gogobik. I mean, still very, very possible. You just want to see a little bit more from that uh, damp ketchup and smoke show. And just the volatility, it seems like, out of this St. Clair search and destroy is just hard to deal with right now. It, like, it's like to turn on a switch and all of a sudden they all just charge. And it's a little bit brutal. That being said, we do have a little bit of one for one here. Corey is going to find one, but Damn Ketchup also going to take care of one. So three on three. Just on a little bit of balance here. Brandon, Dr. Uper moving forward. Got to watch out for that grenade though. He's going to run wow. right to Uper. Nice little play there from Dr. Uper. He's going to get completely traded out though. Priestley on the double once again, leaving things all up to uh, Desify once again. How many times have we seen this already so far here in this uh, Search and Destroy? Poor Des. It's a 1v2, not a 1v3 though. So it's a little sure. bit better for him and I think he might have spotted Priestley. No, he doesn't. So he does have bomb in his sight too and he knows that there's no players really running through this main alleyway but St. Clair have the intel bombs here. Priestley gonna poke himself out and some shots can come through. Okay. That was a little bit uh, risky for Priestley. I think that's just the confidence and just kind of knowing their skill level coming through from Priestley just to make him do a play like that. You're playing a team that be like ICC. You're not making that play. No, not at all. And now it's all up to Corius, of course. To try There's no time to plant. Up. Yeah, no time to plant. So it's got to be a bit of a headhunting kind of play here. And Corius, to be fair, he's just running it right into the corner. Going to force, if anything, this fight has to go to find him. Yeah, so this bomb is looking to get planned on A. Corius should be moving here right about any second to check this A bomb. Uh, maybe not. He's going to allow a plant to come through. So... We will see what Corius does. He is going to try to get an initial peek on Desvi. No. Oh, my God. Hobbit. Oh, yes. Okay. Please. Please, Corius. I love you. I've wanted to see one of these. It's so long. It's been so long. Oh. No. <laughs> Corius trying to go on the Ninja Diffuse, trying to have some fun here. I haven't seen one of those in a competitive scene in so long. But, man, are they ever a momentum booster. Like, it's like getting, like, 100 demos in Rocket League in one shot right there. <laughs> that is exactly the feeling, and oh my goodness, what an effort from Fortis. And honestly, I am not mad that he lost that round. That was uh, a great opportunity, and he had to take it. All right, so he tried to do one uh, here for the fans. But Gojibik, they just clutched it up. Desify just finished off that uh, one on two. So if anything, he's the one feeling on Cloud9 right now. Like, regardless of if they tried to stop, if Saints tried to maybe a little bit of flash or not, they shut it down, and Desify right there 
taking care of Gorilla. And when he's Gorilla's been solid so far in this series here, so just taking him off the board is just one extra little small victory here so far here for Gojebek. Yeah, for sure. So he's gonna be desert by finding another, another there on Priestley. Brandon though looking to trade it out, and he will do so. So now we're looking at two on two. Corius and Brandon, both two players who have been looking great here in this series so far. Let's see what they can do going forwards. It's actually gonna be the two players from Gogebek who aren't the players you kind of want in two on two. Now Smoke Show gonna be stuck in a one on two. Brandon and Corius, last players live. Gobek just gonna have one one v two here just a moment ago. Let's see if they can pull off another one. But no, it is gonna be the assassinate coming through from Saint Clair. I'm not sure who that was. I think it was Corius. One of them diving on in there. I think here we go. It is going to be the assassination. Corey's. That was in fact Corey. Dude, Corey so. is just trying all these flashy plays now over and over. <laughs> He's like, okay, guys, I'm in the starting line tonight. Let's see how many times I can make Twitter in one night. <laughs> Essentially, to say the least here. Now, two more points away here for St. Clair to take care of this second game, take care of this search and destroy. And yeah, Corius currently basically leading the board for the most part. I mean, Brandon's right there as well, though, to be fair. But everybody on the Saints just absolutely killing it in regards to their KD. Meanwhile, poor Smoke Show. He's just trying to get something started here. Had all the pressure put on him. You're, you're feeling a little bit slow, to say the least, or like having a bit of a rough start. And then you get assassinated. That's rough, but that's one way to get started. Yeah, for sure. Smoke Show going to get on the board here now with the first onto Gorilla over towards that B side. And Dr. Youper actually going to be on the bomb alone over here towards A. This is very interesting. Yeah. Priestley, though, going to go for a peek. And it's going to work out in Priestley's favor. Corey is going to find Desify at the same time. Smoke Show getting the second in this round. Going to shut down Corey. now Brandon looking for a potential trade. But the push will not be coming through. Now a 2-on-2. Priestley and Brandon versus Damn Ketchup and Smoke Show once again in the 2-on-2. Two -two. Smoke Show going to be peppered down, but so is Priestley. Nades are out. Priestley in desperate times. Brandon going to come over and help Damn Ketchup, thinking he has an opening over here to plant on A. Maybe not the case. And Priestley shutting him down St. Clair on match point. I mean, they were fighting so well. It was a very even battle there in the middle. But eventually, I think it was Brandon who did end up finding the kill right here on the smoke show. And that just opened up the rest, leaving it all down to, to damn catch up to try and finish that off. And that's a rough spot to put yourself into. So game points here now for St. Clair. One more win here on the search and destroy. We get to go into some garrison control and maybe possibly find ourselves in another position for a 3-0. Yes, for sure. So only one more needed for St. Clair here in the books. And Corey is still just leading the charge here in this lobby. It's sitting at 7-3, and three, having a game for himself. But we'll see if he can keep it going in this round number 7. This is going to be Priestley getting very aggressive. And Corey is actually going to open us up with one early already. So this is just picking up right where he left off. And Priestley jumping in, going to get shut down from Dr. Youper. That's and that's bombed down very pushed in. That's not a play you should be making. Corey is now going to get shut down as well. Now 1-3. Nice. on three, All up to Gorilla. And these are some really... Really good plays coming through from Gogobek. Yeah, it looks like Prezi they're a little bit overzealous because, yeah, since he was the bomb carrier, you're all the way in the furthest possible position in such an isolated corner. Honestly, go, uh, Jibik, don't even have to chase. Just find different doorways to cover and then just make it so no matter what, you're trading one for one. You win this round here and you stay in this game just a little bit longer. Grills that being said, though, spot. they all moved up extremely far, actually. He could very well make a play here. Yeah, he's just making sure that nobody's watching this bomb. Now he's realizing, like, where are these players? Like, is that are they physically on bomb? Doesn't look to be the case. So he is going to be able to fully grab that bomb. Diamati in hand, looking to put a plant down. All three of these players are just in mid, waiting for a plant to come through. Smoke Show's going to get the timing of the world. And Gorilla going to be getting shut down. That is going to be Gogobek finding their second here now. St. Clair not going to be able to find it in round number seven, but they're going to try again. He's getting ready in round eight. I mean, that would have been the highlight if Gorilla was going to be able to pull that one out there. But no, it's good on Gogobek to make the play there in that situation. Situation, make that three on one count and not squander it. Their positioning looked a little bit interesting, but at least they were all committed to it. So eventually, they, they had the hunch that he was over towards that A side and they finished him up nice and quickly. So now, still a long ways away here for Gojibik to try and find themselves a victory here in game number two, but not impossible. Yeah, we're going to see what happens here in just a moment. Corey is still popping off. He was the only one to find that frag in that last round there. So we'll see what he can do here in this one. But other than that, Dr. Yeeper going to be the one on the bomb this time around. Going towards this A site. Brandon, one of the first lines of defense. But Priestley going to actually shut down that bomb carrier nice and early. Looking to find another, but a little too aggressive. Damp Ketchup going to punish him for that one. Brandon potentially on an angle. He does have the intel where Desify is. So Brandon just getting ready to potentially take this engagement. Damp Ketchup looking to move it in as well. And that is going to be Gorilla getting shut down from Smoke Show. So now it is going to be St. Clair playing from a player disadvantage. Brandon and Corius, two players having a good game. What can they do? Let's find out. 
Smoke's having himself a much better game. There's Death Fight on the song to Brandon, which means it's all up to the kid. It's all up to Corey. It's a finish his job. Line him up, White OG! Oh my god! Corey is gonna find a few! Line him up, Blood, just as you were saying. <laughs> oh Holy. man. Corey is absolutely clutching this up. Of course it's the best play. I mean, it helps that they unfortunately inadvertently both came out at the oh exact same goodness. angle. And Corey is just ever so slightly just had to sw like switch his aim after getting the first kill on to Dez, and then that is just an absolute barn burner there for Corius. Yes, for sure. What a play. What a play. I know I was on my feet. Sorry for cutting you off on that one there, That's Dan. I was, <laughs> well, I know I saw, I, as soon as I saw them kind of like positioning themselves towards each other, I was like, oh my God, Corius, you, you're going to make another flashy play here it's tonight. Like, you're going to try to do it again. They both came out. It's like, wait a minute. This is actually possible. <laughs> and un unfortunately, they're for the side of Goatspin because they had themselves in a fantastic position. Just, you, you know, when you coordinate a little too well on the play. Yeah, you're like, okay, guys, let's, let, let's, pu like. let's push in together. Let's let's get this guy. We, we can get our trades. We can get our trades. Not when your bullets are going through one of them and connecting onto the other player. So it is going to be St. Clair taking that one. I believe it was 6-2 to two yeah. there in that game. So SEC going to be on series point here, actually. Now as we do get ready to happen, the map number three, which is going to be a garrison control, getting ready for us in just a moment. The player's just joining and lobbying up as we speak. But yeah, GCC, I mean, hey, they found a couple good rounds. They, they, they I feel like it was like, you've seen some really Really good rounds from them like once in a blue moon right you saw like those two rounds they won they played well they, they won those full heartedly and honestly i mean yeah we might have seen a little bit of aggression coming through from st clair that might have been their i not have been their ideal play style however gcc is still looking good in a couple of those rounds and finding some big frags oh yeah anytime the saints get over aggressive like g or gcc punishes it hardcore and that's where we get the like the round wins out of them whether it be and the hard points are here on the, the search and destroy as well. But anytime it's like a bit of a slower, like chess match kind of style, it seems like the Saints have the opportunities and just the the one on ones anyway. They're winning their gunfights, they're able to like finish a job, or they're like trading favorably for the most part. But yeah, you've seen with the especially the one free sleep break kind of shows up in my mind, where he just dove in, like, yeah, expecting that he would get the the one on one. It's like okay. Uh, GCC right there punishes it secures the round you cannot get cocky yes we're seeing some flashy plays come out here for some of the Saints members but if you mess it up we will punish you oh for sure so I mean garrison control gonna be something we haven't seen the Saints on in a little bit but we're gonna see it right here in five seconds as this match is gonna be getting underway St. Clair and Gogobic going back at it here once again let's see how this one is gonna be decided but if you're Gogobic you gotta win three in a row here but you gotta take it one game at a time it is gonna be this control the first one up St. Clair win it it is gonna be the series and St. Clair will be headed to grand finals of NJCAAE Freestyle getting stuck early all right, Smoke Show's going to start off nice and quick and first blood off that grenade as well. Damn catch up. Nearly taking care of Corius, but Corius is going to end up finding him in the end here. And of course now, like trying to see, Saints are going to be, of course, the ones on the attack. They're going to be able to get to the A site at least for this moment. Meanwhile, the rest of the Saints pushing B. It's only going to be Smoke Show there on the defense. That's going to be a rough one. However, if you're shooting your own players, you might uh, give a little bit of a uh, little boon here towards Gojibek. Yeah, for sure. So it is going to be Gojibek doing pretty solid on the defense. Brandon going to be racking up some time on B, but made it out now. And there's a lot of focus towards him. Like, St. Clair is playing this control very, like, not as team-based as I'd expect right now. They are finding a couple frags. They are actually hopping, hopping on the point once again. But honestly, Ooh. I'd expect St. Clair to at least have one pick by now. Yeah, Dr. Uber just went absolutely nuts with the triple. And this should let them completely cleanse out all of the progress that happened on the B site. Because the Saints did not get that first third so beautifully done there for the defense on the side of Gojibek and now with Smoke Show here he's up against three I like the chance of running away don't take the fight that you know you can't win and then a couple more trades happening in the background yeah for sure so we are going to see some more engagements come through and it is going to be Brandon finding one big one there on B but they are going to have to hop something here I mean we're not seeing a whole lot of hopping like we see the frag come through from the Saints where is the progression uh, that's the big thing right now. Desify going to get shut down on a big play there from Priestley. And this should allow them to at least get B. Maybe they got a lot of progression, and I think this should Two close six. it out here now. Uh, DM Ketchup going to try to do one last effort to shut it down, but now all the focus is going to be on A. But A is also being secured right now by Priestley. Yeah, he's going to get this right down to almost the first third. It is going to go down, so it's going to be washed out for at least a second. But defensive Saints are quick oh, to get no. onto the swing of things. And sure enough, that the triple for the Saints make that a quad with uh, Brandon find himself the double specifically. This should put them in prime position. Everybody is respawning, but we're already there. First round of this control is going to...
to go over to this. Yeah, it's looking great here for them. And, and you know, they, they won that by like 13 lives here, Dan. That was a big fragging out from St. Clair. I mean, at the beginning, I feel like they weren't really like, you know, objectively focused at all in their minds. It was just mainly like they were just running around and getting kills mindlessly. Um, but then at the end, they're like, okay, guys, let's regroup. You know, we got 29 seconds to top it. And as soon as we saw that come through, it was just like a snap of the fingers and they had no points. Yeah, as soon as like one fight actually went in their favor, they just basically did not relent. And it did help too that they were able to hold control with basically three players. And then there was a one additional player. I think it was Priestley who went all the way to the B side anyway. So it just already got it boosted, already got it started. And it was just too hard to control at that point. But now switch sides. Then we go to pick on the attacking side here. Let's see how they handle this one this time by. Yeah, we'll see here in just a moment. St. Clair going to try to hold him off for about a minute 30. Priestley, Damn though, man. should be able to find one oh. early. No, Dr. Youper going to shut him down. Porteous, though, will find himself one. Make it a second as Despy going to be shut down as well. Dr. Youper trying to find something here. He is tagged down very, very weak, but he does get a good stun. But the Ooh. Gorilla Nate is too strong. Gorilla now going to be looking to take out Damn Ketchup. Be able to smoke. Are those... I think those are banned. Or yeah. G8. They're, like, they're either gentleman agreements or banned or something. Because smokes... I think they are. Hey, well, the way that I see it, GA needs to just deal with it at this point here. There's no, if there's no specific rule, it is fair game. So, I think Smoke can be coming out here. That is going to throw a little bit of a loop into maybe some of the plans that the Saints have been worried about. But they still have to be prepared for anything just in case the, the squads are maybe up to snuff on some of these... Uh, like competitive GE rules. That being said, they're able to take over. Oh, this piece Brandon once the trophy! Again, and <laughs> nearly getting out of dodge, but uh, yeah, one tick for Coach Pick on the B site, but that's it. Yeah, so they are going to be, uh, they got that one tick there, but it is going to be quickly shut down from St. Clair. Gorilla going to reset that progression back to the one tick marker. Uh, but about over half the time has been used already for Gogobix, so this is going to be a little bit worrying. Uh, you got to hop something here soon, and Desfy is going to try to hold an angle for it. Dr. Yeeper going to run into one, not realize oh. Corius was corner camping, and then Corius is going to be rewarded with another, you camper. <laughs> It's holding a position. It's it's absolutely not when Corius does it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's just that extra little bit of flair whenever Corius does basically anything at this point here, and he's definitely showing off. Smoke show gonna get straight up jumped on here by Priestley. Priestley 16 and 6 right now. Corius 11 and 3. We have a couple people on the side of uh, the Saints absolutely feeling themselves right now, and with 10 seconds left to go, Priestley finding himself a double gorilla. Maybe gonna find one more up in the top side of things. No, actually, Doctor Uper gonna keep everybody on the side of Goji Pick. Live, just hanging out to the A site by a thread, but does go down. Yeah, I think Corey's delayed enough time there. Smoke show knocking able to hop on to a point, and St. Clair will take round number two there. And uh, some nice plays coming to you from all of the Saints. I'm going to close out that round number two. Now, they're not going to only be on series point. They're also going to be on match point. They are on as many points as they can be on. Uh, essentially, one more round win for St. Clair, and they will be headed to Grand Finals. And honestly, this little play here from Priestley, I absolutely love it because the thing with the with Smokes, that's... Uh, like, both teams can't see through that, right? It's not yeah. like it's supposed to be, like, um, a one favorite way. for one yeah. way. So, you know what? If they're going to fire it off, let me take advantage of it. Swings all the Corius. way around and just clutches up. Corius was going and laying down in the smokes, too, and watching, like, doorway crosses if someone ran through the smoke. So, I mean, hey, St. Clair was like, okay, you're going to throw the smokes? Oh, let me hop in them. <laughs> so, St. Clair now going to be back on the offense. I'm going to be interested to see if they're just going to, like, mess around again in the beginning or if they're just going to do what uh, what they need to and just hop right onto these points early. But we're going to see what happens. Dr. Youper gonna be looking to come up here and try to find something. Brandon could be getting spotted out. And a melee trying to come through. <laughs> not gonna go though. Uh, props to Dr. Youper for trying that out, but unfortunately for him, not going to be successful this time by B site in control right now. Brandon, great position. The crossfire here from Priestley is fantastic. They Corius is right on A as well. They just can't even get out of spawn at this point. Priestley versus World, maybe? No, he's going to get shut down. Takes care of Smoke Show as well. And just on that blue tear, finally getting shut down. Yeah, so he will be getting shot out. Corius still going to follow it with one. And that's going to be A already at one take. Beast, I like given up on already by uh, it's got, it's Koga Pick. And Corius is going to find another there on the game catch up. This might reward him with potentially a second pick. A Priestley going to find a street kill. Corius going to shut down smoke show and this is going to be two ticks on a one tick away from being in the njcaa grand finals the streaks are in and that is game your saint clair saints are going to be headed to grand finals of njcaae let's see it i cannot say that i have ever seen streaks zone off a team as badly as we just saw there lining up streak after streak 
Goja Pick was trying to make this the, the play through this uh, this choke, but there was this rocket after rocket being dropped. You can't move, and Corey is finding the eliminations here was just absolutely clutch as well, cleaning up any of the stragglers, and that is going to be a 3-0 victory here for St. Clair. Once again, just absolutely dominating through the NJCAA in this entire season, in the playoffs, moving over to Grand Finals, which will be on Sunday, starting off a possible uh, playoff doubleheader of sorts, of course, so should be a fun one. Yeah, for sure. And you know what? With that game, I love seeing Corius in the lineup. Like, <laughs> he just makes casting so much funnier. <laughs> like, the amount of plays... Just because we start... know how he's acting. Yeah, we, we know how, we know he's, how what, happy he is. Like, we know the comms when he's going to assassinate, when he's trying to get a ninja to fuse. We know what he's been saying. But even then, like, he actually performed phenomenally here throughout the Absolutely. series. Like, he led the search and destroy. Mm -hmm. He was right up there with Priestley and Gorilla in the hard point. And then the control, he was just farming that a side like he was shutting it down for like he was the only one on it for a while while everybody else was focusing b for a minute and he was like don't worry guys i got this like i got it under control so everything gonna go smoothly there for the saints they are gonna clean up 3-0 and advance now to these grand finals of the nj league uh very very exciting stuff here for them and you know let's see how they do in grand finals but as predicted 3-0s here from them i i think they might be tested a little bit more in grand finals but they've just been looking so good in this league absolutely i don't know what it is about um, NJCAAE, but it just seems like the Saints are just absolutely like taking care of it, like it's like nobody's business. And whether that is to do with like the strength of teams overall, or just for whatever reason, the Saints are just killing it on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Like it just one way or another, they're just making it happen here. Three zero after three zero, like no maps dropped for the most part, of, if ever. I yeah, think, so we have here. not dropped a map in this so, league, no. So it's just just one of those things i guess the saints is absolutely crushing it and it's good to see that even with uh, like being able to, s to switch out how you like switch out the starting rosters there's still absolutely no change in the result yeah it's, it's pretty interesting because there hasn't been like a team that's even scored over 200 points on them on hard point I mean, there hasn't been a team that's gotten two control points like uh it's not even like the saints have been like kind of really pushed to their full limits here in these maps that they've won they've just been going with the flow they've just been going and going and it's been working out very very well there for them yeah it says a lot when i was impressed with gojibik for getting 70 mm -hmm. on that initial hard point that's no shot towards them no it just it's just like saints hard point it's, it's how this league ridiculous. has been for them for yeah this entire league for them has just been absolutely ridiculous like gojibik fantastic squad and like good games of one definitely play is sometime in the very near future as well and thank you also for cooperating with production giving us like the rosters and we'll be yeah, definitely awesome. following i believe they were streaming as well so i'm definitely awesome. going to give a, a follow as well and like see how they end up uh progressing as a program moving forward. We, we love to see all the progression, whether it be production, skill like uh, you know, skill level in teams, whether the programs go varsity, or just in general, we love to see the growth in uh, collegiate esports. So it is great to see all around. Yeah, you gotta start somewhere. Uh, exactly, exactly, right? Uh, you know, I saw this one thing, you know, like a lot of people don't start because they don't want to be seen starting from the bottom. So, hey, man, you gotta, you gotta just put in that work when you can. So it is gonna be at GCC doing what they can as well. So great stuff all around for both teams. I love the effort that came in from GCC. Great people overall as well. Players respectful and stuff absolutely so that being said uh we are gonna be wrapping this one up here in just a moment so we're gonna give a quick little shout out to our sponsors and whatnot as we do get our way out of here but i believe the grand finals will be played on saturday it'll be sunday because we have ourselves a bit of a double call of duty is going to start things off i believe it's scheduled it's four, four and five four. i think yeah four o'clock for the ndc double e grand finals and then right after that basically right at five is the NACE Rocket League Challengers Grand Finals. And that's going to be a rematch between uh, the St. Clair Saints Green Rocket League roster and uh, the University of British Columbia uh, Okanagan. And yeah, that's that the team that knocked one. us out yeah, to that... begin with in winner's finals. So that was a game seven banger. Yeah. And it's bracket resets. So we could very well see I, a 14 like, team match. We series. could literally, yeah. <laughs> and I know, I remember we were talking to Kamal and whatnot then. They were like, okay, we're really hoping they just start up 1 0 or something. Because, like, nope. we, we really aren't trying to do a reset. But Hey, I mean, hey, we might see 14 games come through there. Y'all gonna have one. to earn it on Sunday. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. So let's give a quick little shout out to our sponsors. Absolutely. So thank you to Crunchyroll here for joining us alongside us in this season. Essentially, the Netflix of anime. Anything that you could imagine watching anime-wise will most likely be on Crunchyroll.com. And you guys can get yourself a 14-day premium trial for free at Crunchyroll.com backslash Saints. Once again, Crunchyroll.com backslash Saints. If you guys are interested, there, Netflix of anime. Anything you guys could imagine watching there, Crunchyroll.com. And thank you to our other sponsors as well 
well. Tim Hortons, Subway, the Sinclair SRC, and the Sinclair College Alumni Association. Now we're also going to talk a little bit about our merch here in just a second. But uh, I'm on. The, I'm going her old school here. You're I got the, the white. School, yeah. I, I'm not dark mode. I'm light mode here right now. And it's going to be the same merch dark mode that you see on screen. It is going to be <laughs> jerseys, jackets, t-shirts, masks, anything you guys can imagine, flags, whatever, will most likely be on acquired.ca backslash saints. So once again, uh, you know, it's all very comfy, affordable. If you're looking to represent your St. Clair Saints, you guys can do that. Acquired.ca backslash saints to get your merch. Absolutely. And of course, big thank you to everybody for tuning in and supporting the Call of Duty squads. Whether you're here for Gojibik or whether you're here for St. Clair, always a pleasure broadcasting these matches here for you. Big thank you, of course, to, to Jackson for being co-commentary here today. Cool. Big shout out again to Nicholas Kermit in the observer seat. Let's again hear pretty much whatever game is happening to be broadcasted. Just coming and observing. Big thank you there. And also big thank you to Donka for handling the directing and the actual operation of the stream here today. It was a little bit of exciting about like half hour prior to starting the stream but coming in clutch and able to take the reins here the broadcast absolutely fantastic so thank you there donka and yeah awesome stuff all around very very excited for this grand final so stay tuned we will be back here on the saints gaming ca channel sunday at 4 p.m so stay tuned for that one guys any updates will be on all of our socials at saints gaming ca check us out there but that will be us signing off for this night my name is jackson pry brown joined alongside dan mr danner's banner and we are saint Clair saints catch us on the next one